Hi, it's Alexander from Galileo Sky again. This is the next video in Khan Pro training course. Earlier, we showed how to find doors position in the car. So now, let's have a look at how to find RPM and gas pedal position. But before, here are several Khan features you need to know when looking for these parameters. All parameters in the Khan bus are stored in bits and bytes, so data can be displayed in different number systems. This could be binary, bin, using only two digits, 0 and 1, and forming one bit of information. DEC, decimal number system familiar to us with numbers from 0 to 9. And HEX, hexadecimal, it contains numbers and symbols from 0 to F. To make clear, I'll show you how the number 245 looks in different number systems. This is how it looks in binary, and here it is written in hexadecimal system. In order to translate data from one number system to another, you can use the built-in calculator. Enter the desired number in any form of the tool, and it will depict the number in other systems. You may notice that data in Khan scanner is displayed in three number systems at once. Here is binary, here and here, hexadecimal, and decimal is here. Now it's high time to tell more about this. First of all, look at the data that is displayed in the binary system. Each digit in the highlighted area is one bit. There are eight of them in total. Next, the area that we have allocated is called a byte, and it consists of eight bits. In Khan scanner, the byte is represented in hexadecimal form as well. Here it is, under the binary code. The decimal value is displayed to the right of the ID line and shows the selected byte's value only. Pay attention to the fact that one parameter can send more than one byte can accommodate. For example, one byte is 8 bits, it has a possible range of 0 to 255, and two bytes, I mean 16 bits, can, can accommodate values from 0 to 65535. Keep this in mind when you have to deal with large numbers. Additionally, data can be transmitted in different byte reading directions. In this example, it is a big end in reading format. In other words, read it from largest to smallest, from left to right. Have a look at the values in hex. 0, 0, 0, 2. In decimal, this would be 2. Now, let's change the reading direction to little endian, from smallest to largest, from right to left, and the value in hex will become 0, 2, 0, 0. In decimal system, it is equal to 512. Since the binary and hexadecimal systems are displayed in Khan scanner, try to convert the desired value into one of these two types. Now, let's suppose you know that fuel tank level is 10%. Type in the decimal value in the deck field. We see that in hex, 10 means A. Therefore, in the parameters list, look for 0A value and don't distract on decimal column while matching. Before we get down to RPM data searching, let's look for the accelerator pedal position parameter. It is necessary to distinguish RPM parameters from values which are similar in behavior. The accelerator position parameter can be displayed in different ways. First, be presented in yes or no format, 1 or 0, or as a percentage with a coefficient from 0 to 100. We look for accelerator position when engine is turned off, but ignition is on. Just like in the example with doors, we have to minimize the number of additional events and messages from other nodes. We are connected to the Nissan Node CAN bus. The ignition is on, uh, the CAN is active, the data is receiving at a speed of 500,000. Then select custom filter type. To ignore bytes that change while we are doing nothing, mark them. So far, they are not needed. Set the minimum highlight period to 4-5 seconds. Remember that gas pedal position is important parameter, so its ID is most likely to be closer to the top of the list. Step on the gas pedal every 5-6 seconds to notice the red highlight. Have you noticed that in 4th byte, in 181st ID, changes the value from 16 to 245 when stepping on the pedal? Obviously, this parameter contains the degree of gas pedal pressing. Usually, this indicator is presented as a percentage. Let's calculate the coefficient. Assume that 208 is 100%. Divide 100 on 208 and get 0 0.48. We calculated the ratio of the received bytes to pedal position percentage. Let's calculate the degree of gas pedal pressing. 
208 multiplying 048 and get almost 100 percent that's it we found the parameter that is responsible for gas pedal position and calculated it with coefficient now let's look for rpm parameter let me remind you that this parameter is very important for all systems operation so it should be in one of the first ids Usually, it is transmitted in two bytes and has a coefficient. Before starting the engine, mark all the values that change. Now, let's see and remember the places where two bytes are located side by side and have zero values. Start the engine. A warmed up gasoline engine idles at about 6 to 800 rpm, and a diesel engine is about 450 to 600. We can see now that those empty bytes we noticed earlier have almost stable values. Let's stop and start the engine several times. Pay attention to 181st ID. When the engine starts, two bytes first and second take a value. Have you noticed that there are several parameters with similar behavior? When the engine is started, the throttle position indicator changes in approximately the same way. Therefore, we need to make sure that those two bytes are exactly the engine speed. Let's step on a pedal a bit. The parameter should grow. Indeed, it is increasing. Now I'll show you a distinctive feature that will help you identify engine speed for sure. To do this, use the filter. The filter creates a copy of the data line and allows you to select another byte to write in different tag. You may need to create many such filters if several parameters are stored in one ID. Release the gas pedal. The gas pedal position parameter becomes zero, while the parameter RPM smoothly returns to idle speed. This parameter cannot change values rapidly. Looks like we found the correct two bytes in 181st ID. To check the little engine or big engine reading direction, you need to select these two bytes and change the direction of reading in this column. We see that data is unstable in decimal format. 50,000, 10, 15, it doesn't correspond to reality. Then change the direction. After that, we see that data is changing correctly. However, the values obtained still don't correspond to the data on the dashboard. Therefore, we need to use a coefficient. In the formula column, enter a mathematical operation and select the coefficient until we get the real RPM value. If the car is warmed up, then 5600 is divided by 8 and we get the value of 850 RPM. To check, you can change the speed and check how it changes with the applied formula. Now, let's send data to the monitoring software. To do this, select two bytes and enter them into the tag from the list of available ones. Tick the selected tag on the protocol tab. So, we found RPM and gas pedal position parameters and sent them to monitoring software. That's all for today. See you in, in the next videos where we look for mileage and fuel level data. Alexander from Galileo Sky was with you. See you. Goodbye.